Okay, Richard, what are we going to cook next? Uh, next, we are going to cook chicken in white wine with tarragon smoked with some apple wood chips. We're going to use the GBS, the gourmet system, uh, Dutch oven. Um, there's a couple of parts to this, but the first one that we're going to do is we're actually going to smoke the chicken before it goes into the Dutch oven. Uh, we're not necessarily going to seal it, but we're going to put it on indirect heat. Okay. We've got the barbecue already preheated and we've, you'll see the smoke coming out of here. This is because we've preheated it with the smoker box on this side. We've got no heat in this right third. So simply the chicken is going to go on to here and we're going to roast this essentially to begin with for a good 15, 20 minutes or so. Whose idea was it to put that tarragon on that plate? I think that was mine, it but was anyway, yours. I like how you oh, left me alone with that one. Right, okay, got a good bit of smoke going on here. We'll just pop that extra bit back there. We'll pop the lid down. Let that just circulate through for a second. Pop the lid down, so that's going to roast off. We'll give that about 15, 20 minutes just to get some flavours, some smoke into the chicken. And then once we have done that, we'll come back and we'll talk through the other items. So let's have a look at the chicken. There we go. So we've got a nice little bit of, you can see we've got a nice bit of colour change on there from the smoke. Yeah. Um, we're going to get on with the rest of it. So if you want to grab, uh, if you want to grab the oil and the um, veggies, oil, veggies, salt, pepper, I'll grab the chorizo. And then over here as well, we'll need the spatula as well, actually. Okay. So we'll put the lid to one side, a bit of oil in. Let's get some oil in here. And again, we're using rapeseed. Just a little drizzle, light drizzle of oil, just to help things along. Just dice some, um, some cooking chorizo. So these, this is not the kind of chorizo that you get in the deli counter. This is from the, from the sausage counter, really. Yeah. So just start to render that off. Got this on just over a medium, or just under a medium heat, because we're gonna be putting some uh, some veggies in here like the onions and the celery and, and that so we don't want to get it too hot because otherwise it's just gonna it's just gonna make everything look burnt so we'll get that rendered off a little bit and then we can go in with carrots diced carrots uh, your typical uh, trio of celery carrot and, and, and onion and then I've just popped in some chestnut mushrooms as well just for a bit of extra flavor so that's all gonna go in Okay. Might just turn that up a little bit. Start to stir around, get that chorizo oil. If you want to put some seasoning in here as well, actually. In. Mushrooms, um, mushrooms will uh, soften really quickly, but in order to get the flavor out of them, you need to put some seasoning into them. So salt and pepper in from very, very early on in the cooking process. Uh, using Malden sea salt. So. It might look a little bit more than you'd be used to, but um, it's a much milder flavor, so we don't need to worry too much about it. I'm gonna put the lid down, leave those to soften for two, three minutes. We'll okay. come back and we'll pop the chicken in with the wine and a few of the bits and we'll be ready to go and leave it. Okay. So let's have a look. All let's right. have a look at our veggies. They've softened down. They've softened down very nicely. So if you want to take the utensils and just place those chicken pieces onto the, um, onto the dish, I'm just going to grab the bottle of wine. <clears throat> it's always important to cook with wine. Um, and also cook with wine that you're prepared to drink as well, I think, <laughs> is, the, uh, is the motto there. So we'll put those in, just place those evenly on top of the, on top of the dish. I'm going to take three sprigs of tarragon here, nice aniseedy herb and then this is looking mighty fine there's loads of other things you can do with this isn't there but this oh, was yes. just a nice little dish that we thought people might like to give a go so pretty much you can see how hot it is yes you can we'll put a whole bottle in it's about it's a recipe for about 650 mils but you might as well just put the whole bottle in oh lid 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 okay There we go, lid on, and we'll just leave that on a medium heat. Um, we'll give that about 25 minutes, half an hour. Uh, with the lid on, any condensation will kind of, it will reduce, but it will, um, any kind of, uh, you'll, you'll keep a lot of juices still in the, yeah. 
in the Dutch oven as well, so it'll stay nice and juicy. Okay. Okay. So this has had about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. Take the lid off. Oh, look, at look at that. Smell the flavor, smell the smoke, the, uh, the aroma of the apple. So we'll just pop this to one side. Do you want to, um, have you got a temperature probe? There? I have. If you just want to have a check, you want to be just, oh, we just yeah. we're just making sure that it's cooked. Um, we'll check a few pieces, are we all we good? Are spot on. All good, right, we're gonna grab the, grab the serving dish. So um, if you want to yep. use one of the set of utensils on the end, just to take the chicken out, um, I'll give you that. Thank you. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll grab the, um, got a little pot of creme fraiche, which is just gonna go into the sauce, in the, in the, in the um, Dutch oven with the sauce. We'll stir that around, it will help to just thicken it. You can take the tarragon as well, it's absolutely fine. That is so soft, that chicken. It's gonna be nice and juicy because it's been cooked mm. in, uh, in that white wine. And the veggies have just got a nice softness to them as well. There's just a little bit of chicken there, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll give you that back. And then the creme fraiche. About four or five tablespoons of creme fraiche. Stir that through. That will just help to make that nice, a um, little bit thicker and a little bit more creamier as well, a little bit more luxurious. If you wanted to use single cream, you could do. If you wanted or to reduce cream. it down more, could you take the lid off, say, 10 minutes beforehand to...? Yes, you could also just splash them like I just did as well. But yeah, you could take the lid off, take the lid off and just... Um, let it reduce. Just it let further. that reduce down. Obviously, one of the benefits of the, of the lid on the oven is that you keep a lot of that moisture in there. So if you just want to bring that back up, just bring it a little bit closer. Okay. What we'll do is just... So this, don't forget, this is the chorizo, there's mushrooms. I'll turn that dial off so that it's not right under where your hands are, I'm sure. That's a little toasty. Pop some sauce in there as well. They're getting warm. It was getting a little bit warm, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's take that to the front. And uh, last little bit, we have some tarragon in there already, but we'll just just pick a few more bits and bobs just to strewn on there. We've got some tools, we've got some utensils. Grab yourself a set of weapons and uh, dig in. So I think this this is a dish that um, this is a dish that Weber have a recipe for, isn't it? And this is yeah. just a twist on it. So we've taken pretty much the same recipe, but we've put the wood smoke into the chicken um, before we popped it into the pot, into the Dutch oven. Let's just have a look. Oh, let's just bring this little bit of chicken up here. Can we just get a close up on that of how juicy and tender that is? And if we just, let's just try and do the same. Where is that? Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get a little bit. How is it, what do you think? It's lovely, I'm going in for another bit. Mm. You can taste all the flavors. It's mm. subtle on the smoke, Yep. really nice white wine, um, a flavorful chicken, juicy chicken, really good, even though I say so myself. Uh -huh. So if you uh, want to learn how to cook a dish like this or uh, any other tips, visit the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World or our website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk, all the social media channels, and we can get, help you create these dishes at home so easily. That is really nice.